hello everyone uh, this is my first uh, first vlog so explaining my understanding of the mcmc algorithm which is markov chain monte carlo now markov chain monte carlo is something i have been trying to understand since a long time and today i have put up an effort to make a video and uh, explain uh, my understanding of the markov chain monte carlo algorithm so markov chain monte carlo is basically uh, sampling from a distribution uh, which we do not know so in uh, so as as hillary mason puts it when you want to use a new algorithm that you don't deeply understand the best approach is to implement it yourself to learn it okay so we will uh, i will i will show you how uh, a basic implementation of markov chain monte carlo and these are the four links that i have, i will be using these are all towards data science links i'll be providing them in the description so we will start from the base theorem in base theorem we know uh, so let's say we have a prior so the prior is the probability of the hypothesis um, then we have we observe some data okay so let's say this data we observe under the uh, conditional to the hypothesis so and what what would be our posterior uh, posterior after observing the data after so this is called the likelihood and this is called the prior this term is called the posterior and the denominator is the probability of the evidence or the likelihood that is the number of times or the what is the chance of observing the observing the likelihood which is just a normalizing term so just let's keep this this formula at the back of at the back of your mind and we will understand what is a uh, markov chain uh, monte carlo so uh, this is the best definition i have come across to uh, understand markov chain monte carlo and this uh, this uh, blog is uh, is the like most appreciated one i have seen which is having 11900 claps and it says uh, so mcmc methods are used to approximate the posterior distribution of a parameter of interest by random sampling in a probabilistic space so uh, basically let's say there is a distribution from which we cannot sample that is we don't know what is the distribution if we want to sample from such a distribution we use uh, markov chain monte carlo now coming to some basic terminologies uh, so let's say uh, parameter of interest what is a parameter of interest it's just a number that summarizes a phenomenon we are interested in in general we use statistics to estimate the parameters and uh, a lot of us uh, come across distributions on a daily basis which is a mathematical representation of every uh, any parameter uh, so uh, so let's say let's say uh, some you are given a task uh, to find out the average human height so this is the let's say this is the distribution curve basically in the y axis we can see the count or the normalized count which is the probability and in the x axis we have the height so uh, uh, if i ask somebody if i ask you what is the what is the height of a uh, average human every person will have a different uh, perspective of the height or maybe they might have a different distribution in their head uh, talking in a bayesian statistics uh perspective so let's say uh, and whatever that person has the distribution the person has in their head is the is from the people they live in so let's say a person who's uh, with beliefs represented by this graphs has been living amongst giants i mean this they say for years uh, and let's imagine the person he went and collected Uh, some data so this is uh, this was the person's prior belief and when he collected the data this is the distribution that that he got so how would uh, 
I mean, this is like actually uh, like so we have some kind of belief and then we go and we collect data and um, the the real world turns out to be something else. So we have to uh, we have to adjust or we have to settle somewhere in between what our my belief was and what the real world is. So uh, so there is this prior distribution and there is this there is this likelihood so remember i was talking about the prior distribution and the likelihood in the uh, in the base in the base formula so then uh, the the red curve should be the the adjusted or the posterior distribution that the person who had a belief about the average human height the distribution of average human height in his head so this is the updated posterior distribution after collecting this likelihood uh, distribution uh, data so uh, i th th this is so this this distribution uh, the red one was not known to us now uh, this is basically what mcmc is we have to collect the uh, the data from the uh, from the observation space and update our knowledge and generate a distribution which was unknown uh, previously so uh, then coming to uh, coming to uh, markov chain monte carlo we have already discussed that uh, is a method that can find posterior posterior distribution from our parameter of interest and uh, this type of algorithm generates monte carlo simulations in a way that relies on marco property so monte carlo simulations are basically randomly we are sampling from some distribution that we assume the data to follow and marco property is that the state at time t or the state right now depends only on the previous state so there are various algorithms so uh, again the similar plot we can see this is the this is the prior this is basically the guesswork that uh, let's say we have and then this is the likelihood this is the data that we collected the blue one is the uh, posterior distribution so uh, so what what we can see is that uh, monte carlo simulations they uh, model complex systems by generating random data uh, markov chains are basically uh, uh, so the state is only dependent upon the previous state uh, and there are various algorithms to uh, to uh, solve this or to undergo this uh, mcmc that is markov chain monte carlo so we have to basically reject and accept the samples from the updated distribution which uh, which uh, which follow like which follow the which follow the formula that we saw for from the base theorem and that is the acceptance rejection sampling so then there are various algorithms like metropolis hastings algorithm no u turn sampler uh, let, let's just see metropolis hastings algorithm so let's say we are at a point x we make a guess for the next step we call this x star now uh, we compute the ratio of the probability of p x star and x so this is uh, calculated using the product of likelihood and the prior distributions so if the ratio of p x star by p x is greater than 1 we accept x star as the new position so this is the basically the acceptance rejection uh, sampling and if the acceptance probability is less than 1 we don't we don't automatically reject x star we basically flip a coin we randomly uh, uh, and flip a coin or you can say randomly we accept or or reject uh, x star so this is this is the crux of metropolis hastings algorithm uh, that is uh, we have a prior and we have we we have a likelihood distribution we basically uh, make a guess or we we randomly select a number we this is called monte carlo and uh, we now calculate the ratio of probability of x star uh, and x by multiplying the uh, multiplying the prior likelihood so we 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 calculate the uh, probability of x star in in basically uh, x star by x 
so ratio of probability of x star by x by uh, calculating the product of likelihood and the prior distributions so this is the metropolis hastings algorithm and now we will actually see the metropolis hastings algorithm in the in uh, in python so so i will i will just skip the skip the introduction so let's say uh, we can we can basically uh, assume uh, or we can we can fit any function uh, to the markov chain or the posterior distribution we can assume any any distribution and then find out the find out the parameters of those distribution let's say in this case they are alpha and beta so now uh, yeah uh, so frequentist and bayesian thinking so basically bayesian is uh, bayesian uh, inference uh, we have so it's the fundamental is the base theorem and uh, so yeah we can see the portrait of thomas bayes and uh, okay so coming to metropolis hastings algorithm i will skip this uh, the mathematics behind this so let's say uh, the the idea is let's say we have 30000 samples we have a population of 30000 but we cannot go and uh, we cannot go and find out if, or take the observation of all 30000 samples so we can let's say at max go to 1000 uh, 1000 people and sample the the uh, the height or the value of from those 1000 people so let's say this is this is our population but we want to model we want the distribution of our population from the observations so let's say we we have this observation which is the this which this is the distribution of the 1000 people and we want to find out the distribution for the 30000 people uh, so what do we want i mean uh, so we would like to find out a distribution using the 1000 observed samples so uh, we will have to define a uh, uh, probability distribution uh, function okay so we we define the pdf as uh, okay so let us see what we define the pdf as we define the pdf as uh, as the as this function so we can see okay so there was an a there was a b and we we use the okay so we we have this prior okay so the prior is if x x1 is less than 0 uh, so it it returns 0 else else it uh, returns 1 so returns 1 for all valid values of sigma uh, so returns 0 for all invalid values of sigma and so we can basically run the run the metropolis hastings algorithm and we can see that uh, we get a accepted and rejected uh, samples so yeah we have seen now uh, how uh, the metropolis uh, hastings algorithm is used and the and a very nice example of uh, markov chain monte carlo thank you